It was April 29th, 2009 that Jessica Martell, uh, a Morinville woman, murdered at the hands of her husband of 10 years. Martell leaving behind three young children. We're joined now by Jessica's cousin, Andrea Cantrell, uh, a volunteer, I guess, and one of the founders of the Jessica Martell Memorial Foundation. We're sorry about the context in which we greet you here this morning, but we're hoping that the message that you and your family and Jessica's friends have to get out will hopefully change some lives. You have a mission right now, don't you? Yes, uh, we're working really hard. We want to open up a women's shelter in Sturgeon County. Right now there isn't one and the need is there, so we're, we're looking to raise money and awareness. I was at the Blackie and the Rodeo Kings concert last night and before one of their songs that they performed, a song about domestic violence in Canada, they said it's a crime that women's shelters even still exist in yeah. our country. Uh, why is it so important specifically that there's a rural shelter to be built in Sturgeon County? Right now, there's, there's no place for them to go. I mean, if they want to get out, they have to get, go to Edmonton and they're often full in Edmonton, right? And oftentimes they have jobs, their kids are in school, they can't they don't just want to leave what they what they know, right? It, it makes it harder for them to get out. It was astounding uh, to learn that uh, more than 600 women made calls. 600 women in Sturgeon County made calls to get into women's shelters uh, in the last year. I understand that your cousin, Jessica, had put in calls on a couple of occasions or family had on her behalf mm -hmm. to try to get out of her home. And at several times she was told that it could be up to a two month wait for her to escape that situation right yeah and um it's it's um most cases go unreported right so those numbers we can assume are much higher the calls that come in because most most people are scared to report one of the most heartbreaking elements of this story, I think, is uh, the story of uh, Jessica's mother, uh, Lynn Roschuk, who, who, who tells of a phone call that she received from her daughter the day that she was killed, saying that she knew that she had to get out of there. She was actually planning to, to get out that day. That was her plan. They, they had come up with a plan to get out, and somehow he found out, and, and that's when she lost her life. Andrea, you and the Jessica Martell Memorial Foundation hoping to raise a million dollars to build this shelter in Sturgeon County, and you have an event coming up this Saturday afternoon in Fort Saskatchewan. Tell us about it. Um, it's Saturday night at the Bears Den in Fort Saskatchewan. We're doing a silent auction. We have over 40 items right now, and they keep growing. People keep calling me. I have something for you. Um, we're doing 50-50 and there's going to be live entertainment as well. Okay, so you can use, I would imagine, uh, donations of silent auction items. You can probably use volunteers and maybe yeah. people who just want to come check out some good music and, and meet some good people. Yeah, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, we want to right now, and we were just showing uh, the website, I want to point something out to our viewers. Uh, this is an amazing resource and right now you can file this away if this is a website that you could utilize or somebody you know, the Jessica Martell Memorial Foundation.com. Andrea, tell us about the little stop sign that we see there on the screen, the stop sign to escape to Google and why that's so important. That really jumped out at me. Yeah, um, actually the Safe Society in St. Albert gave us this idea. Because um, if you're on your computer and you have somebody that's constantly keeping tabs on what you're doing, you can easily just escape by so clicking, by that, clicking one link. that one link. There are so many resources on that website, the Jessica Martell Memorial Foundation.com for anybody who has any connection to violence in the home, whether it's yourself or somebody you know, so many resources on that website as family and friends of Jessica Martell do what they can to make sure a tragedy like this never happens again. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us, Thanks and we wish me. you all the best in your efforts. You can learn more about the foundation by following the Inside BT link on our website. News, traffic, and weather coming up right after this.